So today we're on the Kennet and Avon Canal and we're after perch. It's a lovely bit of water. I've had loads and loads of perch to well over three pounds. Um, today we're just going to try and catch some perch. I think we're in with a good chance of catching a two and having a three would be a, a nice little bonus but they're, they're definitely in here. Kit wise, we're going to start the day. I've got a Shinjin Neo rod built by Sakura with a matching Alpax reel. This is a rod that I use most of the time. It's a 5 to 21 gram, so it's a good all round rod. Quite stiff, um, but still has a little bit of give so I can work my lures properly. Lure choice this is a Savage Gear 4 play in soft version. I really, really rate this lure. It's one of my favourite lures. As you can see, it's got a lot of movement and I've hooked this slightly differently. I've side rigged it so I can fish it along the bottom so it sits like that and I can just bounce it off the bottom and hopefully the perch will come and investigate and eat it. So that's a really, really good lure. I like the white colour and I like the luminous colour as well. Other lures I'm going to be using, something slightly unusual. I've got these things, which are called hawk hogs, in a few colours. These come under the class of creature baits, and I'm going to rig them slightly differently to the other lures, and I'll show you how to do that later. So I've got some of those. I've got some nice twin tails. Great movement in the water. Some ribbons. Some eco gear paddle tails, another really good lure. Again, some other creature baits that don't really look like anything but represent so much. Really good lures, yet again, rigged slightly differently. And then here are my soft four plays in various colours, trout, and there's a few other little goodies in here as well. So I've got a really good selection. I'm going to give it a go and hopefully contact a couple of big perch. Let's see how we go. So we've got a bit of confluence here. We've got a nice bit of current coming down here. We stood in front of a lot. We've got another bit of current going down there. It's a really good holding spot for perch. What I'm going to do is just fan cast around, put cast in all, to the light, all the likely looking areas. So I'll swing it out right on the edge of the current. I'm going to let the lure sink to the bottom because it is winter and they spend most of their time at the bottom in the winter. Once it's down on the bottom, I'm just going to jig that lure back and just let it sit there. So just twitching it back, making it lift up. If there's any perch in the area, it'll just lift up into their eyesight and then suddenly disappear again. And you tend to get the takes actually when the lure is static, I find. So I'm always feeling for the takes. If I feel a take with a soft plastic and it's not while I'm lifting it, I'll just let it sit for about a second. So I feel the take, I'll wind down and then give it a strike. And that normally hooks them absolutely perfect in the top lift, top lip even. If you get it on the rise, so when you twitch it, you'll normally hook it up there anyway. So you will get strikes at every point of the cast on this. So lure fishing, you just got to be on the ball, otherwise you'll miss them. So as I say, I'm just fanning around, casting into all the light looking areas, bouncing it back to me. And if there's anything around here, hopefully we'll get it to take.
So we potted about in town for a couple of hours without much to show for it to be honest. Had a couple of takes, missed a couple of little pike but didn't land anything. So we've decided to move upstream a little bit. It's a bit quieter here, the water's a little bit clearer. We're going to see if that makes a difference. I'm also going to change what I'm fishing with. So I'm moving away from the small soft plastic little fish and I'm coming on to a creature bait. It's still quite a small bait but lots of appendages doesn't look like anything in particular or can look like everything. Crayfish, newts, don't really know. I've fished them for a long time and I've got a huge amount of confidence in them. If you haven't given them a go, they are really worth giving a go. They're, they're just fantastic. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to rig them because they are a little bit different to the other soft plastics we use. So here's the creature bait I'm going to be using. As you can see, I no longer have a normal jig head on. Now the reason for this is that when you fish it, these move in the water quite a lot and they can wrap round and get caught on the hook point when you're using the jig, which renders the whole thing totally useless. So we've got to go a slightly different system. This is called a Texas rig. So what I have on my braid, I've got a gripper stop that stops this from sliding too far up the line. This is a tungsten bullet weight. And then this is what's called a worm hook. Now to rig the bait, what I do is I take it and I have it facing the wrong way. The hook goes down into the middle of the bait like that. You then pop the hook out and slide the whole bait down until you reach that little notch. You then twist it round and cover the, the eye of the hook. What you then do is measure it up, find the back point and put your hook through the bait like that. So the hook comes out the other side. Then what I like to do is just pull the bait forward and mask the point of the hook. Pull everything back down and there you have a perfectly rigged weedless creature bait that catches an awful lot of fish. Don't be worried about masking the hook point, it's a very soft, soft bait. So as soon as the fish takes, that pops out and you can hook the fish. It's a really useful way of rigging lures. And if you've got snags or weed, it's definitely worth a go.
So it's been a day of two very distinct halves. This morning was sunny, warm, and the fish weren't interested at all. The clouds have rolled in, temperatures dropped, and the fish have responded brilliantly. We've had plenty of fish, quite a few fish around the pound, pound and a half mark, topped off by a two pound two beauty. Really, really chuffed with that. As you can see, spinning is great fun. It's easy to do, it's easy to learn, it's light. You don't need a lot of kit. I use kit from Sakura, it's great stuff. A lot of my lures come from Savage Gear. Yet again, very good brand. They're not priced out of the market. So if you're looking for some stuff, have a look at their websites, see what you can get.